Welcome to Barron Stadium in Rome, Georgia Statesman football fans. I'm Katie Smith. Delta State playing a Thursday night game here against Shorter in GSC conference play. Now the Hawks are winless on the season, but Delta State head coach Todd Cooley has called this the perfect trap game and says his team cannot be unprepared. Let's see the highlights. Statesman looking to stay in the hunt for postseason play with a win on the road. Here's a good way to start things off. Shorter gets the opening kickoff, but just four plays later, quarterback coughs up the ball, forced by DSU's Jerico Beckwith and recovered by Trenton Warren. Statesmen start taking advantage. Tim Foy takes the handoff, rumbles up the middle for a 13-yard gain down to the shorter 27. Delta State works its way downfield and finishes off the drive. Quarterback Tyler Sullivan with a short pass to tight end Reed Faulkner. He dives into the end zone. Statesmen take a 7-0 lead with about 10 minutes still to play in the opening quarter. Shorter quarterback trying to hide under center, but you can't fool Rory Island. The Delta State senior linebacker gets the sack and 8-yard loss. Statesmen get the ball back and we get to see the run game at work in this matchup. Justin MacArthur scampers down to the three-yard line. Very next play, he takes the handoff, follows his blockers, and makes it into the end zone. Delta State leading 14-0 near the end of the first quarter. Shorter trying to score here in the second quarter. Hawks have third down and two to go from the Delta State nine-yard line. Adrian Dinkins absolutely stops the running back from going anywhere. A few plays later, Dinkins takes down the man across the line again and stops another play right in its tracks. Shorter does manage to score, cutting the lead to just one touchdown, but here comes Sullivan racking up passing yards. 15 to Patrick Bethley right here. Later on to Casey Osborne for a 16-yard pickup. Let's go Sullivan to Osborne again. Looks a little familiar. That was a 13-yard gain, but Delta State doesn't score again before halftime and goes into the locker room leading shorter 14-7. Let's start the third quarter how we ended the second. Sullivan to Osborne, 18-yard pickup, but Delta was trying on fourth down and 22. Turnover on downs, but then Shorter turns it over on its first play. Kind of hard to see, but the QB fumbled, and DSU's Landry Tulo recovers the ball at the Shorter 14. Two plays later, handoff to Richard Freelon. He goes seven yards up the middle, takes out a hawk for good measure. Touchdown, Statesman. Delta State makes it a 21-7 lead with about 12 minutes left in the third quarter. This is where DSU starts pouring it on. Wilson Curtis forces a fumble on the ensuing kickoff. Warren recovers his second ball of the night. Then Delta capitalizes. Sullivan tucks the ball and goes untouched into the end zone. Statesman now up 28-7. Hawks looking to respond. Artavius Morgan puts a stop to that with an eight-yard loss. Quarterback sack. Shorter gets a field goal up. It's now 28-10, Statesman. But we've got a mobile quarterback. Sullivan picks up 15 yards here all on his own. Hawks back with the ball going forward on fourth down and one in the third quarter. Delta State says, I don't think so. So it is Statesman ball. Sullivan connects with Osborne, 15 yards down to the shorter 16-yard line. This drive ends in a Vince Sherrata field goal. It is good from 25 yards out late in the third quarter. Statesman lead 31-10. Let's take it to the fourth quarter. Shorter scores early, so it's 31-17. Delta State still leading. Sullivan passes to Jarvis York. And he gets a 41-yard reception out of that, getting the ball down to the Hawks' 11-yard line. Tim Foy finishes this one off. Five-yard touchdown run free and clear into the end zone. Statesmen take a 38-17 lead. Delta State defense not giving up late in the fourth quarter. Nick Houston stops a pitch play five yards behind the line of scrimmage. And the clock winds down from there. Delta State grabs a road win over Shorter, 38-17. You always want to play better. I didn't think we played very well. But, uh, you know, give all the credit in the world to Shorter. They played hard. Uh, what they do is very difficult. I thought they got after us at times on defense. But uh, we were not focused the way I want to be focused. And, uh, you know, we said it. I mean, it, it was a trap game. And no matter how you, you, you think you're going to overcome it, we're still, uh, at times, we were a young football team. And we acted like it tonight at times. But... Really proud of how we started the second half. 
what we've got to understand is, is when you get a team on the ropes, you've you got to finish it. That's what good teams do. And I thought we played very well coming out to start the game, and I thought the second quarter was awful. And I thought the third quarter was much better. And the fourth quarter, a lot of that was just uh, trying to get it, get through with it. But uh, still too many miscues, things that we don't do. And uh, that's what bothered me the most. Sullivan finished the night 22 of 28 passing for 214 yards and one touchdown. The quarterback carried the ball seven times for 21 yards and one score. Justin MacArthur led the running backs with 12 carries for 86 yards and a score. Tim Foy had 47 yards and a touchdown. Richard Freelon also found his way into the end zone. Casey Osborne led the receiving core with seven catches for 86 yards. Jarvis York got 50 yards on just two catches. Patrick Bethley, Ricky Hunt, DJ Holly, and Colin Floyd all had about 20 receiving yards. Rory Island led the defense with 10 tackles, seven were solo. Nick Houston and Artavius Morgan both had seven total tackles. Houston had three tackles for loss, totaling 12 yards. Romello Wilson and Trenton Warren both recorded six tackles. Good stats, but head coach Todd Cooley says he still wants more from his team. I thought Coach Williams, Coach, uh, coach Anthony did a great job. And, you know, it's, it, it's not about sometimes as a coach, it's not about just the win. It's about how you play. And we're trying to play to a standard and we weren't close to our standard tonight. And once again, Shorter had a lot to do with that. Uh, that's a good football team over there. I know their record doesn't show it, but uh, they play hard. Their kids are very, very tough. And uh, they've got a really good quarterback who's very dangerous. And uh, so we're, we're glad to get the win. It's always good to correct with a win, but uh, we've got a lot of things to get corrected before this next week. But the good thing is we're back at home, home crowd. Uh, we love playing at home, so we're excited about that. So the Statesmen moved to 3-1 and one in Golf South Conference play this year with a 38-17 win over Shorter here in Rome, Georgia. A big conference game coming up next week against Valdosta State. For GoStatesmen.com, I'm Katie Smith.